time, everybody clap your hands. hands. So yesterday was Saturday. I went to San Francisco for the day without any of the kids, without Ryan. My best friend's sister is getting married. You guys may have seen the Will You Be My Bridesmaid video. Yesterday was the bachelorette party. They had like a whole bunch of other things planned. They had like an escape room planned. They also had like clubbing at night and things like that. I'm an old lady. I passed on the escape room. One, I'm claustrophobic. So I wasn't too excited about like, I don't know, seeing where my anxiety level was gonna be. So I passed on that. That was one of the reasons why I didn't go to escape room. And the other thing was that it started at 9.45 in the morning. And I live about hour and a half, two hours away from San Francisco. I didn't want to wake up that early on a Saturday. And also Ryan had his fantasy football stuff going on. So in order for me to leave that early on a Saturday, it would like throw the kids structure off super much. So I didn't do the escape room. I met them for lunch and then we did bowling. And then after that, they all rented a hotel and they kind of had like a little bit of pre-drinking game and I'm just so late and I can't drink that much anymore. So I kind of like laid low on that part and I became like a Uber driver. Well, I was supposed to be an Uber driver, but then I realized that I didn't really need to be an Uber driver because parking in San Francisco is like drama. Then we drove to a restaurant, ate, saw some belly dancing, and then they went clubbing and my old self drove home and I got home at two o'clock in the morning yesterday, you guys. But here's a clip of all of what happened of just like little bits and pieces of it because I was enjoying really, 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 really good company and I actually did not vlog as much, which I'm actually never like sad to say that I didn't vlog that much because for me, it's like I chose to spend time with my family or they're my friends, but like the friends that you or the family that you get to choose, you know? So, so here's what happened. The kids are downstairs getting ready. They're almost dressed. I'm pretty much done. Gray hairs are still here as I see. Just, just, just need to put on some lotion, find a watch to wear, and then we're gonna go out the door. But for right now, enjoy yesterday.
I forgot to vlog, but we really did go to church. We didn't just change this kid and put him into church clothes and then come back in that one also. And there's one on the floor. Don't mind beddings and stuff over here. <laughs> you gotta put more gel right here on your hair, okay? Next time, I've already told you that. That's why it looks like that. But we're back home from church. I went to sleep at 1.30 in the morning last night and I'm ready to go to bed right now. And it is noon 30. Right now, we're just waiting for Papa to get here and then we'll take off. And then you guys go get a bath and a little bit of milk and then bedtime. Ryan and I are both struggling this morning. It's Monday. I didn't even vlog yesterday. I think I just talked about what I did on Saturday. And then next thing you know, we were leaving the club that we oversee. And then here's the next morning. We're actually early for preschool drop off for Silas. So. We're just sitting in the car hoping that this stuff goes in our system. Cheers, I've drank more than you. It's just not kicking in. Bubby. I love you. Mama's not here. No, you're not sleeping. You are sleeping. <laughs> Can you take off your seatbelt? Let's go to class. Today's gonna be an interesting day. I can. Thank you for using your words. We both work. Do you work today? I don't want to, but I need to. We had an order that came in, and I feel like some of the stuff hasn't come in. Do you feel like it's all here? I feel like. I was going to tell you to go on a walk, and I said, cut my hair. No, you're going on a walk. I was trying to get out of it. It's hot in this car. Just finished our walk. I'm sweaty and nasty and stinky, but I gotta go into work really quickly. I figured if I go in the house and then sit on the couch, drink water, do whatever I need to do, that I'm not gonna wanna get up and go into work. So I'm hoping, hoping, I'm hoping to be like super, super, super productive, get some stuff done at work, and then I have a nail appointment at two o'clock. So it's now approaching 10 o'clock. The kids have been in school for like over an hour, and um, let's go and get some work done. Yeah, who? Oh, he talks like that? Yeah. Yeah. How was your day? Good. A little bit or a lot? Why did he push the button? I don't know. There's a little water leak and Ken's working on it. Hey, listen. What did you say about me picking you up from the store? What did you say? It was nice of you to pick me up. It was nice of me. Huh? Don't put that in your mouth, please. Thank you. Very good listening. And your day was a little good or a lot good? It's kind of nice that you get to come to work with mommy and papa, huh? Your boys don't get to do that. Papa's in here. He must have closed the door because it's hot out here. And he must have the air conditioner turned on. Mwah. You gonna go find him? Yes. Hello. Call him. He might be in the fellowship hall. This way, baby. This way. Uh -huh. Hello. Do we may like stuff? And stuff? Tell him what you said about mommy picking you up today. It was nice of you to pick me up. It was nice of mommy to, to mommy to pick you up. No, it was nice of me to pick him up from Walmart. You <laughs> so went to Walmart? Yeah, she was at Walmart. She wanted to pick him up from school today and take him to Walmart. Okay, so Ryan and I are organizing the club that we oversee. That's what's going on over here. And then my sister-in-law picked up Silas from school and she took him to eat at McDonald's at Walmart. And now he's back. We're not gonna spin on that, okay? That's enough, all right? High five, you did a great job. We made it outside this evening to hang out in the driveway and practice our roller skate. Just showing the flag. You're like, it's like up. It's like I'm like there. the old lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
We made it outside to roller skate. And there's Bybee. He's wondering when bedtime is. Are you getting tired? Man down. No, it's not. Oh, I know you can because you got in trouble. This guy, how long did you take to eat? A little bit or a lot, lot bit? <laughs> no, that's not the truth. So his um, scooter and his bike privilege was taken away. I actually took a shower already. I'm sitting out here in the driveway with my PJs on. The boys wanted to practice their skates, so they're doing that. But we're actually getting ready to go in because we got two stinky kids. Look, at, there goes Mittens, you guys. If you've watched my vlog, you guys are pretty familiar with Mittens by now. She's not our cat. She's our neighbor's cat. This, she's going to zoom out of Kai's school. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. Go, Mittens, go! Somebody's feasting tonight, huh, Bubby? Love you. Yeah, Mittens gonna eat good. All right, take off those skates, please. Malachi, time to go in. Kick everybody. everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, let's go. Let's go.